Hello Year 3, hope you had a good half term. Now today, as part of our new topic, we're going to be talking about the layers of the rainforest. So even though we're in our homes in London and we're not able to move, at least we can be transported to the rainforest by looking at some lovely pictures of it. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions and you see what you can come up with from what you can see of the pictures of a rainforest. First of all, what do you notice about the plants in a rainforest? Are all the plants the same height? Are they all the same shade of green? Do they have the same kinds of leaves? Have a look at the pictures. Why do you think that they are all different? And today, that's what we're going to find out. So a rainforest can actually be split up into a few different layers. And each layer is different because of the amount of light and water it gets. Why is each layer different? Exactly, because of the amount of light and water that each one gets. So let's have a look at what these different layers are. This one is the emergent layer. So that's the very top bit. Trees in this layer can be up to mm, tall. How tall do you think they can be? 500 meters? 10 meters? What do you think? Let's have a look. They can be up to 60 meters tall, that's very tall. Their trunks can be up to five meters in circumference. They are usually broad-leaved evergreen hardwood trees. Now going down to this bit, there is lots of mm up here. What do you think there's lots of? If we're at the very top. There is lots of sunlight up here, but it can also be very cold and, oh, we've got a bit of a clue there. What letter do you think that is? What word is it? It is also very cold and windy. Good job. Onto the animals, many birds, monkeys, bats, and what live here? Many butterflies. So that is the emergent layer. Let's go to the next one. This is the canopy layer, the next one down. Trees in this layer form a roof over the plants below. Trees in this layer usually have smooth, oval, pointed leaves. There is lots of mm, but also plenty of rain. What do you think it will be? We're still near the top. So there is lots of sunlight. Many animals live in this layer as there is plenty of food. These include mm, toucans and tree frogs. What goes in that gap? These include snakes, toucans and tree frogs. That is the canopy layer. The next one is the understory layer. So this is our third layer down. We had the emergent layer, the car layer, was it? Oh, right, thank you. The canopy layer, now we're at the understory layer. Trees in this layer rarely grow taller than four meters. So do you remember what the, in the emergent layer, how tall they were? They could grow up to 60 meters. Now they're tiny, they're four meters, with, well, not tiny, but it's a lot smaller than the 60 meter tree you can find at the top. It is very warm and very humid here. Many mm, live in this layer. What do you think? Many insects live in this layer. Very little mm, reaches this area. So the plants have to grow larger leaves to reach the sunlight that there is. Very little, got a bit of a clue there as well at the beginning of that word. Very little sunlight reaches this layer. Okay, and onto the last layer, the forest floor, which is obviously right at the bottom. So we have our four layers there. It is very mm here. What do you think? Have a look at the picture. How does it look? 
it is very dark here almost no mm, reaches this area what have we talking about a lot been talking about a lot almost no sunlight reaches this area very few plants grow in this area leaves and other debris compose very quickly that means they break down very quickly what about the animals well we've got gorillas anteaters leopards and any guesses and tigers live here so there we have our four layers of the forest what was the top one called again the top one was the emergent layer and then coming down we had the the canopy layer next we had the what was it the underground layer um the underneath layer mm, not quite right the understory layer and now we have the forest floor forest floor is easy to remember isn't it because the floor is the lowest down it goes now we are going to play a bit of a game to guess to to practice a bit more about our knowledge of the layers of the rainforest so when i say emergent layer you've got to put your hands above your head when i say canopy layer you put your arms out wide when i say understory layer you touch your toes and when i say forest floor you crouch down on the ground okay got it so let's have a quick practice and then i'm going to take away these pictures right okay understory layer well done if you're touching your toes forest floor well done if you're crouching down on the ground emergent layer yeah exactly hands above your head forest floor hey good one crouching down on the floor canopy layer and your arms are out wide okay got it easy enough right i'm going to take away these pictures right are you ready emergent layer your hands should be above your head canopy layer understory layer canopy layer emergent layer Hands should be above your head. Forest floor. Canopy layer. Canopy layer. How should you be? Arms out wide. Understory layer. How should you be for that one? It's the third one down, so you should be touching your toes for that. Canopy layer. Emergent layer. Canopy layer. Emergent layer. Okay, you're getting too good at this game. Okay, so enjoy the activity you've got next and I hope that you have enjoyed learning all about the forest.